speaker in our 206 year history. I promise you tonight that the fight for Illinoisans continues. Abraham Lincoln once said, put your feet in the right place and then stand firm. I'm going to tell you tonight, everyone, our feet are in the right place. And we're going to stand firm on business for equity in every single thing we do. We're going to stand firm for equity in education from pre-K to higher education. We're going to stand firm for our job opportunities, our construction opportunities. And we're going to stand firm to make sure we're represented on corporate boards all across this country. And so let's enjoy tonight and tomorrow wake up renewed in a collective fight to stand firm together because we're always stronger together. Thank you, Chicago and Believe. <laughs> By the way, for everybody eating, there will be an invocation. But in the meantime, God is great, God is good. Let us thank him for this food. <laughs> we always into dessert. We still trying to... Okay, go ahead. Whoever is the voice, do your job. Please welcome Mayor of the City of Chicago, Brandon Johnson. Good evening. It is truly great and it's ultimately my honor to be with you all again, celebrating Chicago Urban League's 63rd Annual Golden Fellowship Dinner. I want to thank all the elected officials that are here this evening, the leaders, the committee organizers that are here tonight that have made this evening possible. And I want to give a special shout out, of course, to the President and CEO of the Please President. welcome to this day. Okay, listen. Clearly, there's somebody in the back that really don't like me. You know, it's a you know, just it, it wasn't me, Your Honor. Okay, I'm just saying, y'all interrupt me like I'm the whole freaking mayor of the city of Chicago. I'm saying, you don't, you don't get another side of me in a minute. You better fix that. Y'all know what side of town I live on. What's up, West Side? Where was I? Of course, to the President and CEO of the Chicago Urban League, Karen Freeman Wilson, for her leadership. Since the founding of the Chicago Urban League, it has worked on behalf of residents and families of this city to provide workforce development and housing and financial empowerment, as well as opportunities for our young people. In addition, the Chicago Urban League helps to build and empower black communities through programming and advocacy. We all know that Chicago has a very long history of disparities and injustices in the black community. But I'm here tonight to give you all my personal commitment that we will continue to build a better, stronger, and a much safer Chicago through the lens of blackness. And whether it's creating opportunities for housing, mental health, and of course, to create your own business and our wealth and our communities, I'm committed to doing that. But that is why, from day one, my administration has not only made a commitment to invest in our people, we do it in a very dramatic way. A $1.25 billion investment for housing and economic development is the largest investment for the West and South Sides in the history of Chicago, and we're just getting started. Today, we're coming together to raise money to continue to support the vital services that the Urban League offers. But I want to say this in closing. I think it's important that the people of this city hear from my heart tonight. Blackness is not a condition. It's a state of being. To resist our being is most and highly coveted by the same forces that have forced the hellish conditions in which so many of our people still live in. We will not heal using the poisonous venom that caused our captivity. Allowing those that benefit from our suffering to determine who or what our opposition is is not only reckless and irresponsible, to do that it would be like trusting a jury that was selected by Donald Trump. There is not an ailment that we suffer from that we have either caused or created. However, the bomb for our cure exists and it's not a rare bomb. 
It does not require discovery, but I know for sure it is in this room and it is in all of us. So tonight, let's not just celebrate, let's make sure that we continue to resist the very forces that never wanted to see a room look like this. God bless you. God bless the greatest freaking city in the world, the city of Chicago. Mayor Brandon Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, you can do better than that. Great mayor of the great city of Chicago. For the invocation, Six Ward Alderman William Hall, Senior Pastor of the St. James Community Church. Let's bow our heads. God, first of all, we say thank you for tonight. God, we say thank you for everyone who sacrificed so much for us to be here tonight. And so, God, as we gather in this room tonight, we don't forget about those who are not here. And so, God, we pray that conversations tonight change generations for the future. So, God, we pray that you bless the president of this great organization. We thank you for our heart. We thank you for our vision. And so on tonight, as we gather in this space, we thank you for everyone who served us. From every security guard to everyone who greeted us, God, we thank you to make this space so hospitable. And so on tonight, God, as we gather together and laugh together, May we always figure out how to work together. And so may we put this city on our shoulders and show the world what love looks like in Chicago. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That is Alderman William Hall. Give him a round of applause. Sound like any minute he was going to say, for those of you who think gospel music has gone too far. Dinner is served, ladies and gentlemen.